Hi all, good morning. I am Manjit and today I am here to present a seminar on the topic how to set up a cold fusion application using FuseWorks MBC architecture. Today I am going to discuss all these topics. What is a framework and why we need it? What is FuseWorks? Installing FuseWorks? MBC in Fusebox and setting up cold fusion app using Fusebox. Come to the next slide. Framework. In daily life, we are very much acquainted with the term framework and just want to share few points about the framework. Framework basically it makes it easier to work with the complex technology. It ties together a bunch of discrete objects, components into something more useful. It forces the team or just me to implement the code in a way that promotes consistent coding, fewer bugs and more flexible applications. Everyone can easily test and debug the code, even code that they didn't write. Now come to the next slide. What is a fuse box? Basically, Fusebox is a framework for building web applications only. It is meant to make your application easier to create and maintain. It also makes team development easier. It does this by helping you structure your application and break things down into discrete pieces. Come to the next slide. Fusebox elements. A Fusebox having four elements circuits, fuse actions, fuses and uh, that trees. First come to the like basically you can say fusebox application is made up of circuits. Circuits corresponds to a directory in your application. Within each circuit are one or more fuse actions. It means, let's say you are building an application and your application having two modules, admin and user. So what we do basically, we create two folders, admin and user. The functionality related to admin inside the admin folder, the functionality related to user inside the user folder and also we can create a common folder which will have the common functionalities like login, registration, forget password, change password. So what we can say that we have the three directories so we will have a minimum three circuits like every directory will be act as a circuit in Fusebox. Now what is a fuse action? Fuse action is just a request handler and finally fuse action does its work by executing one or more fuses means fuse actions are basically responsible for handling your request. Whenever a request is made, fuse actions only handle the right, that request. So how it handles? It just executes the fuses. So the question comes, what is a fuse? Fuses are individual cold fusion markup language templates such as display files. Means all the CFM pages in cold fusions are called as fuses. Now, how we can basically install Fusebox? It's very easy. If you want to install Fusebox in your application, you can just go to the Google, type Fusebox. Now you have a website www.fusebox.org. Just click on this. Here you need to go to the download section. Now, you can see that Fusebox presents in either core files and with some skeleton application. So what we can say, if we are going to download the Fusebox code files, then we have only the code files and with code files, we have also the other version as skeleton files. So what is this skeleton file? The skeleton file means, 
if you will download this set of code files with SQL then it will already give you a structure of your application it means some functions or some folders are already declared some circuits are already created some few sections are already created you just need to follow the process and the application will be built up but if you download only the core files then you have to structure your application you have to create circuits you have to create folders so for this video we are going to download the core files only so that we can see that how we can create folders and circuits inside our application so what you need to do is basically you need to just download these core files if you will download these core files then unzip it then you will get a folder fusebox file you just need to place that folder in your root directory of the application basically if you download that uh, fusebox core files then you have a three option either you can place it into the shared directory where the multiple app applications can share it or you can just place inside the web root or you can place in the application but above the web root in this case we are going to use the second as an example so this is the process like how to install it you just need to download the code files and zip the code files then you will have to put the fusebox 5 folder you just need to put this fusebox 5 folder in the root of your application how you can do that you can see here Let's say demo one is my application. So what I did, just unzip that folder and just put here Fusebox file. Now I am showing you here. This is my demo folder for you. So just unzip in Fusebox file folder. Now what you can do next for your application, you can have one application.cfc. So you just need to create one application.cfc. In application.cfc, now you want that this application.cfc should use the Fusebox file. So you just need to use the extends attribute inside the CF component tag, which will extend the Fusebox file properties. You just need to use Fusebox file dot application. Then you can use the variables or the functions in application.cfc as you use in your actual application. Just for example, I have just used some of the only parameters for full application.cfc. Here you can see that I can set some of the important parameter application timeout session, timeout session management, and set client routines. Now these are the new things which are the Fusebox parameters. Here you can see the first I am putting here Fusebox parameters dot mode equal to development full mode. Basically, it have the two values. Either it will be development or either it will be production. Later on, I will explain that what is the difference when you put this as a development full mode or when it you put it as a production full mode. Now, fusebox parameter dot debug equal to false. Fusebox parameter fuse action variable equal to fuse action. What actually it does? Like whenever you pass some parameters in the URL call, then if you have enabled this parameters as fuse action variable equal to fuse action, then whatever the value you are passing in the URL, the fuse, fuse box will read it as a fuse action. I will show you this. Now, what is a default fuse action? Default fuse action means whenever you have not called any fuse action, then the by default fuse action will be called as main dot welcome. So later on we will again see this. Let's discuss about the other files. In Fusebox, you do not need to write anything inside index.cfm. You can keep it as empty. Now the, there are the two very much important files for the Fusebox. Let's move. One is the Fusebox.xml.cfm file and another one is the circuit.xml.cfm file. Fusebox.xml.cfm file. Basically, you create your application level parameters, declaring classes, plugins, and global fuse actions. Basically, we use the XML based tag based things 
to write facebook.xml.cfm file and the circuit.xml.cfm file so let's see uh, first facebook.xml.cfm file here you can see that i have declared the xml version you just can uh, include this in your xml file now what initially i have created few things when you write the fuse box it means that it opens the fuse box in your application then you have written circuits circuit means as i said in fuse box all the directory corresponds to a circuit so we can declare the number of circuit in the fuse box dot xml file here to show this example to demonstrate this example i have only created one circuit but it can be two three more than that so when i use circuit i have the alias name alias name is just the name of the circuit you can give and path and parent path you can see that here it is empty why it is empty because the fuse box i is present in the root of the application and also my circuit present in the same root so there is no need to give any path so my circuit is what circuit.xml.cf so for this i have given the alias name as main so here what actually i have written as i said fuse box is made up of circuits so here we have declared the circuits and now what we said circuit contains one or more fuse axons this is a circuit and you can see that was circuit having one fuse axon it can have more than one fuse axon so it is just the name of the fuse axon means if i want to call this fuse axon then i have to use the name welcome and what actually fuse axon does fuse axon simply executes the fuses so here it is executing one fuse fuse means the cfm templates so how it is executing you just need to use include tag include template welcome dot cfm it means that whenever this fuse action welcome will call the welcome dot cfm file will be included so how it is working the best advantage of fuse box is you just only need you can call all the pages only by calling index dot cfm page let's see i'm showing you here we are writing localhost demo1 index.cfm page and we know that index.cfm page is empty so if i will reload this like still i am saying the hello world so how it actually worked as i have written index.cfm but i have not passed any fuse action in the url so how it opens the hello world first is to go to the application.cfm and it founds that the default fuse action is main dot welcome main you can see that if it is a dot then the left side portion is your always your circuit and the right side is always your fuse action so main dot welcome so first it main it will search for the circuit so it will go to the fuse action dot xml file and found a main okay so same in application we have a circuit okay this is the circuit so now what actually it is finding welcome as a fuse action so here is the welcome okay so what it will do welcome dot save and what we have to in welcome dot save just hello world so that's why it is showing the hello world hope uh, this is small examples you you have got it i will have other examples i will show you later on now let's move to the next slide mbc in fuse box we are very much equipped with the term mbc model view controller it is basically a three tier application architecture where we separates our business logic control logic and the presentation logic from each other the benefit of doing this is like multiple development will be possible and at the same time one developer can work on the logic part one developer can work on the presentation part and one can developer can work on the controller part so using mbc architecture basically it makes your development faster easier and very easy to maintain it so we will see that how we can use mbc architecture in fuse box 
Now setting up Confusion app using Fuseworks means we are going to set up a MVC architecture for setting up the Confusion app. So now for this I have another example. Let's come here. Fuseworks demo. Oh, sorry. This is another Fuseworks. So to demonstrate this example, what basically I have done, I have assumed that let's say one application having two module admin and user and as we can have some common functionality so for that we have just declared the common model so again we will start like we have downloaded the fusebox file and just unzip in this folder then created two folder add three folder admin user and common then the application.cfc and fusebox.xml.cfm and index.cfm as the empty so first go to the application.cfc the same thing we have extended here and declare the parameters fusebox parameters the same development mode the default fusejection and the fusejection variable as fusejection so first the index request will be done let's see you can see here but i am getting a login page how Uh, so when index.cfm page is requested this default fusexon call so common is your circuit view login is your fusexon so common is the circuit how you can know you need to go to the fusexon and find the common ok this is the common path it's common folder so now we can go to the common folder so this is the circuit which I need so after that there is a view login so, view login I can see that I am not actually executing a fuse here what I am doing I am using do it so what it means actually it means when you want to call a fuse action of other circuit from a other fuse action of other circuit then you need to use do action means I am here I have an architecture of model view controller. In view, I have a login.cfm file. I want on this huge action called view login, I want to include login.cfm file. But I cannot directly call this login.cfm file from this circuit because it belongs to a different directory. And for this directory, we have a circuit.xml.cfm file. So first we need to make a call from this circuit.xml.cfm file to this circuit.xml.cfm file. So let's open this circuit.cfm file. You can see the access is public. Public means a circuit having the access public can be directly called from the URL. But you can say this circuit having the access is internal. It means that it can only be called by the other circuit in the application. It cannot be directly called by the URL call. So for this I have called the common view login. Common view means again it is your circuit and you can see common view is here the path is view folder and the login. So view means this and the login. Login means login.cfm. So this is our login.cfm page and hence it is included. Hope you have got it. So now how the, this login.cfm will work? You can see here on action I have read calling a function page index.cfm and passing a fuse action as common dot builder login. So whenever I will click on this login button, it will call that page. So let's say how it will be called as. So fuse action equal to common dot validate login. Again, what is the common? Common is just the name of the circuit. And how we can get, get it? We need to just go to the fuse box dot xml dot cfm. And the common path is the common. So then this is the validate login is the fuse action. So 
Millet login is a fuse action and this is calling again one fuse action of the other circuit. So common controller. It means that it will go to the controller circuit and it will call the validate login. So this is the validate login. This validate login is again calling the model. Why? Because in MVC architecture when a user make a request then first it moves to the controller then controller to model. So what we have seen that now it moved to the controller now from controller to model. So name of the uh, we have the common model means that it is a circuit and this is the fuse action. So circuit common model means it belongs to this directory and the validate login is the fuse action. So we can open this circuit and we can see the validate login. Here we can see some new parameters inside the fuse action. In 10 C8 class, what is actually this object? Okay. Let's go to the fusebox.xml.cfm file. Here we can see that oh, we have the classes tag. Inside that classes tag, I have created one class. So what is this class? I have given an alias name to this class. Then the class path as like common model and the CFC path, login model and the type is given as the component and the constructor means initial whenever an object of this class will be created a function in it will be called. So this is basically one class and here we are trying to create one object of that class. This content.obg is the object of the class login component. So we will use it later on. Now we are also setting one name value pair like name is the common action and the value we are passing is the value login action so what we are doing we are again calling one fuse action here common control login action how it will do common controller login action here it is login action login action is including common action dot cfm it is included and uh, you can see the value is value login action for the common action so here is the common action and the validate login action means this case will be executed. So now what will happen? Control.obg. Here we can see that this is the object. Now this object is trying to call a function login user. Now this login user. Now this login user is communicate with the database and give the result. It's very simple what we do in the business logic, just it is a flow and it's returning 1 and 0 based on the data match in the table and again we can like either call the let's say if it is an admin we want to load the admin page so for that you just need to do what uh, the view so admin landing page so what you can write admin view admin landing page admin and this circuit will call the admin view dot admin landing page for the same for user what will happen first we will go to this circuit so it should be the user first here user then inside user it should be user view and user admin page. So I am going to show you something. Let me make a registration. Then name one two three four five six. It's registered. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see here I am a user. So it's working. So I am just again showing you like how uh, sign up is working so that you can better understand this example. Come to the login.cfm page here you can see that on the view register I have calling a fuse action what I am thinking if my control is uh, here 
login.cf. So why not I can directly write register.cf? Yes, we can try. Let's see what will happen if I will write register.cf. It's loaded register.cf but not in the correct path. So I thought okay, I will give the total path. So it is inside the common view folder. What I did? Common view folder. So what you can say something is loaded, but is it the registration page? No, it is the login page. So what actually happened? In the same folder, it found the register.cfm file. It was present there, but there was no any fuse action call. So what actually it does? It calls the default fuse action. And we know that default fuse action is just loading the login.cfm page. So hence it loaded the login.cfm page. So again showing you like how the sign up will work. Uh, see it will call the fuse and common dot view register. So common means it's common folder, the view register. Here we can get view register, then common view register. So inside common view view register and view register means it will load the register dot page. So hence we are loaded with the register dot the register cfm page is loaded so when a user passing the username and password and then clicking on the register button then what will happen again calling one few section commander to register again the from dot left side part is the circuit name and the after dot name it is a few section so common we know that common and then do register common means this circuit and do register do register you can see here do register the common controller and because in MBC first it will go to the controller, controller to do register. Uh, do register model, after controller it will go to the model, do register. Now do register again it will creating one object of content dot obg of this class. Then setting one name value pair and calling the login action, login action means this. Login action will include common action, but this is the this time the case is do registration, and again it will call a function register user of by using this object that is login.cfc, and this do register user means it will register the, the, the this user means store the data to the tables. So we have seen like how a new registration is also working here. You can again have a look in fusebox.xml.cfm file. I have created total 12 circuit here. Why? Because I have three different directories. One is the admin, one is the user, and one is the common. For each directory, I should have a circuit. I have a circuit, and for admin also I have a circuit, for user also I have a circuit, and for common directory also I have a one circuit. Now as it is a MBC architecture, so we have also created three different folders, model view and controller. So again this model view controller will act as a directory, so every directory can have again the server circuit, so every controller, model and view, I have again created one circuit. So we have three models, three folders inside every model and one is the necessary circuit. So for like this, every model have the four different circuits I have done. that's why this application contains the 12 circuits and every CFC block will have the one class so here I have only used a login model that's why this is only one CFC hope this will make you more clarified here now move to the next slide like uh, there are a lot of frameworks for the Fusebox, sorry, for cold fusion. So the main, uh, important question is, are Fuseworks and MAC2 or model group competing frameworks? The answer is very simple, not really. They represent two different approaches to building an application. 
both Mac 2 and Model 2 require an object oriented approach to development. But Fusebox does not require an object oriented approach, but can support an object oriented approach if necessary. It means like if you are going to use Mac 2 or Model Q, Blue, then you have to be very good at object oriented programming. And everything, whatever you are writing, will be based on the object oriented concept. But Fusebox does not force you to write object oriented things. But if you need object oriented concept, then you, it supports the object oriented concept. So this is the most advantage of using NPC. Now, as I said, I will explain about the development mode versus the production mode. What is the difference? The mode can be set to various development modes, either production or the development. The difference is that in development full load, the core files reparse the XML files only if they have changed and rebuilds all the Facebook memory structure on every request. In development circuit load does not reload the fusebox.xml file, does not rebuild the fusebox memory structure but does not reload any circuit.xml file required by the current request. It means in development mode, if you are making any changes in circuit, means you are adding on fuse actions or adding on circuit in the fusebox.xml.c file, then it reparses the XML whenever you are making any new changes. But when it reaches to the production mode, it does not make any changes. To reflect that, what we can do? To reflect that, we have one solution that you can just change your mode from production to the development mode and then make the necessary changes, update changes to the production server and then again change the mode. But Luckily, we have a new things here in Fusebox 5.5. Like we can forcefully reload the Fusebox by passing some parameters. Reloading a Fusebox means whenever the Fusebox is called for first time, it automatically creates a parsed folder in your application root path. You can see this parsed folder. It automatically creates. Here there are some parsed files. Whenever you are making a request, a parse file is first created and then it, it executes. So, whenever you are make, making a request, only the parse file is created only once and then whenever you are making a new request, it is taken from here. So, when you are in the uh, development mode, whenever you are making a new changes, it will uh, again reparse the page and the parse files will be created again but when you are in the develop, uh, production mode it will only take the files from the parse folder so it will not reflect the changes to reflect the changes you can change your mode from production to the development and then you can use it but luckily we have a uh, some parameters which we can set in the url so that in the production mode as well it will be reparsed the changes. So what is this parameter here? This is the parameter fusebox.password. You can see that fusebox.password is empty and fusebox.parser equal to true and fusebox.loadclean equal to true and fusebox.execute equal to true. Here the fusebox.password equal to empty it means you are not passing any password here. It Because the default password is the empty but if you want to set any password then you can set it in the fusebox.xml.cfm file now model view controller without xml as we have seen we have created mbc with the xml like there were a lot of circuit.xml file lot of fuse actions but in Fusebox 5.5, it is possible that you can create MVC architecture without XML. It means it will be fully object oriented concepts. So I have a one demo for this. You can just have a look. Fusebox demo. Here what we have to, again the same example we are taking. One is the controller circuit. One is the view circuit. So what we are doing here. Uh, 
we can write something in index.cfm file or we can just move all these things to the application.cfc so we are just using the same parameters like default fuse xl main.welcome only the new things is allow implicit fuse box here extending like what how we can extend this fuse box file.cfm so allow implicit fuse box means it will allow you to write the fuse box application without the help of circuit and fuse action means it will help you to make it a object oriented concept so the default is called main dot welcome when you are writing allow implicit fuse box it means main dot welcome main as initially we have seen main is act as the circuit and welcome is act as the fuse action but in this case main main will act as your component basically here main will be your component and welcome will be your function so component main so first where the request will go in controller so first it will search for the main.cfc is there any main.cfc present in the model controller or main so aho uh -huh. yeah he finds here main.cfc so inside this main.cfc it will find the welcome dot welcome function yes here it is a welcome function now it will always accept an argument as my fuse box now what is job here we need to so it welcome dot cfm page which is present in the view folder inside view we have a dsp folder then welcome dot cfm so this is a new function in the fusebox 5.5 my fusebox dot do it if i want to if i want to uh, add one uh, cfm file we can use my fusebox dot do it will add a dsp dot welcome in this way we can see that a welcome dot cfm page is loaded when we are making a request Uh, let's say this is the page index.cfm is called and it is calling the default fuse action which is main.welcome in the object oriented concept if you write allow implicit fuse box then it will read your circuit as your component and fuse action as your function so main is the component it finds the component main.cfc and then it found the function as welcome and then it just execute Uh, execute this fuse as dsp dot welcome so it is loaded so you have seen like it is really possible to create a web applications in fuse box with fully object oriented concept uh, this is all about my uh, presentation on fuse box setting up a configuration application with xml without xml with xml means it contains postal oriented programming approach and without xml it contains the object oriented approach in my next seminary presentation i will come up with the more object oriented programming approach while setting up a cold fusion app using mbc architecture these are the references which i used in this seminar thank you all